Welcome back to Pop Culture Conspiracy. I'm your host, T. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Kayla Nicole and Angel Reese podcast that is going viral right now, got the internet in a frenzy, and definitely has a lot of people giving their two cents. Now, I'm going to start off with this is why y'all need to stay up off these podcasts because y'all usually say something that embarrasses yourself or implicates you in some drama that people didn't even know about. And now people start to look at you a certain way. I do believe a lot of people go on these podcasts and a lot of people have these podcasts for viral moments to be messy, to kick up drama. And y'all know how the industry is. People don't care if it's good press, if it's bad press. They just want somebody to be paying attention to them, unfortunately. And that goes towards Angel Reese because Angel Reese should not be having this damn podcast. Like she is supposed to be a professional athlete, but yet she would rather spend her time dressing like a hoochie mama and then complaining about people sexualizing her but in the same breath has podcasts talking about all type of low vibrational topics. And again, between Lotto and uh, Kayla Nicole, she seems to have an affinity for interviewing industry jump offs who don't really have a real claim to fame outside of who they laying up with and who they beefing with. And again, their opinions on other people. That's just my two cents. I'm not really the biggest fan of Angel Reese because Angel Reese is a gimmick. It's very obvious that she has, you know, taken the oath in the industry for fame outside of, again, basketball. This girl is no longer known for basketball. She is known for posting up on the shade room antics and walk around looking like Sid in a wig. So no, I'm really not feeling Angel Reese and I haven't, um, you know, reported on her because I don't really want to give her any more, you know, attention that she's already paying for. But since I'm addressing this topic, I'm gonna go on ahead and just give her again the attention that she's looking for. Now, when it comes to Kayla Nicole, um, I did make a short and I was telling y'all again, Kayla, your claim to fame is who you've been laying up with. And, you know, I feel like people had kind of liked her before this interview because a lot of times we like people when they're being quiet. And this interview just goes to show this is why you should just keep your mouth shut. Like people like somebody that doesn't talk much, that keeps their mystery. And, you know, a lot of times when people do start opening up their mouth, we like, see, you should have kept your mouth closed because now, again, you just said something that didn't turn people off. With the situation with um, Tiana Taylor, it really rubbed me and a couple other people the wrong way because it's like, first of all, you crazy as hell. The fact that you still sitting on this couch talking about your ex from like three years ago is a dud. Like, that's insane. Um, Travis Kelsey has been moved on. Yes, I do believe that he is in an industry relationship, but he looks like he's happy and again yes i do think it's all cameras and clout and press and pr but he's playing his role again he wanted to move up in the industry he wanted to play the industry game and that comes along with industry relationships and he's doing what he's supposed to do he's not speaking about kayla anymore he is rocking around with taylor swift pretending that he is just so in love and reaping the benefits of that Meanwhile, Kayla is still, you know, caught up and emotionally tied up in this old ass relationship. And it's really a dud and it's really lame. And not only that, all she did was expose, okay, you kind of have like obsessive vibes and you really low key an industry pass around because if she didn't get up there and talk about Tiana Taylor, I would have no idea that she was ever messing with Iman Shumpert. I didn't know she was kind of like getting around the industry like that or getting around the sports associations like that. And when, you know, she outed herself for engaging in that kind of behavior, I'm like, you didn't even land a spot on Basketball Wives when you was actually running around the industry. You know, that's really interesting. Like, but maybe that's because uh, Kayla is not that interesting. You have an issue with moving on and you don't have really much to show for running around the industry. Like you don't have, you know, a little business going on. And again, people still associate you very closely with Travis Kelsey. It's, 
you know, it seems like it's been difficult for her to separate herself from that. And a lot of that is because, again, not moving on to the next best thing, still caught up in doing interviews and doing podcasts. Like, this girl has built clout off of going on interviews and podcasts about, again, an old ass relationship that's been over. Like, that is, you know, again, a bit unhinged to me. And then come to find out with the whole Iman Shumper situation, you know, she dressed up as Tiana Taylor like a couple years after she was dumped by Iman. So it's like, again, it's coming off unhinged. And it's like, if you did want to be with anybody else, you're making it really hard for somebody to want to, again, approach you and be with you when you seem to have an issue with letting go of your past and letting go of your ex. So that's just my opinion on that. Now, some people are saying that Tiana Taylor is kind of doing too much with her response. I don't think she is because um, you don't get to shake somebody and then pick how they respond. You don't get to mock them and dress up as them on Halloween. You don't get to shade them about their level of fame when, again, your claim to fame is being a cleat chasing jump off. You don't get to, you know what I'm saying? You don't get to just have your way and Tiana Taylor just supposed to take it. And that's what she was saying. Tiana Taylor was like, y'all just get up here and just say anything and I'm supposed to just take it with grace and love and light. And I completely agree with Tiana. I think Kayla Nicole out her damn mind for trying to, again, shade Tiana on her level of fame. Like, you know, girl, Tiana Taylor been popping since Sweet 16. Like, Tiana Taylor has worked with Pharrell, Kanye, people that, again, don't know you and would definitely, you know what I'm saying, never give you that kind of attention because you don't have that kind of talent. So you trying to shade Tiana Taylor about being a has-been was completely delusional. But again, you still talking about an old-ass relationship. So clearly you live in the land of denial and delusion. I feel like this podcast is real, again, remedial and low vibrational because here we go again with the 50-50 conversation. Angel Reese, this is how I know you are an informant and a damn agent in the Black community because why the hell did you even ask that lame-ass question and even bring up that dry-ass topic? Like, I'm telling y'all, these famous people are sent to distract the Black community and keep us focused on bullshit that, again, doesn't progress us. Here you go again, you done got you a podcast, again, talking about a whole bunch of bullshit, and then you're going to bring up, again, that dry-ass topic that the Black community seems to be presented with every single day, which is the 50-50 conversation. And Kayla Nicole sit up there and lie like a rug about how, oh, couldn't be me and I wouldn't be doing this and that. Kayla, we remember you complaining about Travis Kelsey not tricking on you and not buying you bags like the other chicks was getting. And maybe that's part of why, again, you are not basketball wise material because you couldn't even get this white man, you was going hard for this white man begging for a ring, but you couldn't even get him to, you know, blow bags on you. You was complaining about that. Like, we remember that you was online talking about, oh, like, he's, you know, not buying me this and not buying me that and all this other stuff. So you looking like a damn fool. And again, you want to rewrite history to make yourself look different than the type of chick that you are. But you really just exposed how you move. And again, it's real crazy. It's real, you know, never let go, never move on and real nasty mean girl. Like I really feel like this interview just exposed you and not in a good way. And again, I've been, again, having my own opinions about Andrew Reese messy ass. So let's talk in the comments, y'all. What y'all think about this interview? Give me your opinions. You do not have to agree. But other than that, I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. Bye.